this is Jodine, and thank you so much for tuning in to Jodine's Corner. I'm standing in front of a sneaker boutique called Soul in the heart of downtown Atlanta. I'm here to interrupt one of my favorite vocalists, Eric Roberson, from Sneaker Shopping. Oh, you didn't know? Eric Roberson is a sneaker pimp, and we're about to go inside and bust his game. Let's feed our soul. Roberson. Oh, caught me in the act. What's up, girl? How's everything? It's been like forever. It has been. How you been? I'm good. How are you? Well, you know, the same old same. <laughs> I you see. Know, I know you in here sneaker show. shopping. Getting ready for the show. That's all. I get my mind right for the show. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. What's up, A.T.? How you feeling? We're going to get right into it. Sing along if you know it. So, so tell me, how many, how many shoes do you actually have? I don't really have a number. It's a couple of hundred, but I, uh, I give a lot away. My grandfather uh, in North Carolina um, likes to stay fresh, so we, we send him a few pair uh, every couple of months as, as well, so he can uh, he can style on them in church and stuff. And uh, yeah, so we, we 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 try to we try to um, you know keep the collection fresh. You know? So do they have their own closet? Like, how do you store them? Do you keep them in boxes? I mean, I know the game is tight. The majority of them in boxes and labeled. So when you real quick, you just like, <laughs> black Pat and Boom, you know, red, whatever, you know what I mean? The Morgan Minis, whatever, you know, I just can grab them out. And then you got a few laid out on the, on the floor, like if I, if I bought them somewhere and couldn't you know, fit them in a suitcase, couldn't sneak them in a the house. So what do you look for when you're, when you're shopping for sneakers, when you're shopping for kicks? What's, what pulls you to them? Well, you kind of want something that you don't have already, or at least something that's going to match something that you have. Like if something's going to pull out a jacket, I mean, these joints are crazy. You got a, the, the lime green laced under the sole, you know. So you always want something that's just going to be different. You know, me and my boys, we uh, we do participate in the Fly Awards. So you always want to show up in that city and they go like, oh, man, you got those already, you know. So, okay. <laughs> you know, I got to try to stay one one step ahead of my band members. You know, they, they go, some of them going to be quite upset that they didn't come to the store with me. You know, you know that's that's the main thing. Just trying to find something that's that's going to set you apart and kind of speak for who you are. Okay, maybe not. When we the just won't stop. No, yeah, sing it on. Well, I guess I'm just caught up in the news. The truth be told, I a couple of congratulations in order. Congratulations on the new baby. Yes, thank you very much. And yeah. congratulations on the 2011, which your second Grammy, Grammy nomination for Best Urban Alternative Performance for Still. Yes, how uh, it's been a good year. It's yeah. been a good year, a good two years. So, you know, uh, I'm quite happy about it. I, you, I'm beaming cause of the, more because of the, the, the little trophy I got at home, my little man, you know. So, uh, But I'm happy for both situations. It's, it's, How are you feeling about fatherhood? How's this experience been going? I'm, I'm dumb. I'm just crazy about it, you know what I mean? Uh, don't really have to sleep much. I stare at him. He's amazing. He's three and a half months right now, and uh, he's chubby and beautiful and getting bigger by the second. He's life-changing. It's life-changing, you know what I mean? So uh, everything that... I dreamed of and hoped for uh, as, you know, being a father one day uh, is, is coming, to, coming to fruition, so I'm real happy about it. When I introduced you earlier, I introduced you as the man responsible or created the blueprint for a lot of indie artists, Ooh. and you are seven albums in. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh, like seven. I don't even realize how that happened. It's just like. Yeah, I don't even know how that happened. It's just crazy. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with the seven albums, like now that you're, you know, hopefully we're getting it in eighth. Yeah, do you follow yeah. the same blueprint, or do you, or you do you make it up as you go along now? I think you got to change with the times as well. I mean, you know, when I first started, we didn't have the MySpaces, the Facebooks, or the iTunes, or anything of that nature. So 
with everything, you, you learn what's going on in the business, what you need to change and figure out. But at the same time, it's still a lot of it is still the same. You know, the theory of organized growth and, and making it uh, where everyone is communicating with what we're going after. Um, and then at the end of the day, I'm just trying to chase the sound of my head. That's th that was album one to, to this album right now. Is like I hear something, and I'm sitting behind a microphone or behind a keyboard or sitting with a, a producer or a musician. I'm like, that's not it. Oh, oh we close. You know what I mean? Just chasing it. When you find it, it's, it's the, one of the best rewards, you know? And then touring and the whole night. So it's still, the, it's still kind of the same. It's still exactly the same. I mean, um, it's just a, a, a beautiful experience that, I mean, we're, we're probably 80% if not more, done with the next album. And then uh, I want to have the album finished so he can kind of work it for a couple of months before we put it out. But I think it'll be done way before July. So what's next for Eric Roberson outside of personal life, outside mm. of music? What, do you, what else are you getting into? You know, I, I stay, I stay focused on that word, uh, organized growth, man. So just, just doing it a little bit bigger, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like we, we got a sold-out show here in, in Center Stage. It might be the first time that we've sold out a venue like this this big in this area. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just kind of the, the, the new thing. I mean, there's always a, a different country we haven't performed in. There's always a different city in the United States we haven't performed in. Um, and there's always something more we can learn. With the last album, we put out three music videos, I think, you know, I think with this album, we'll probably do that, if not more. It's just trying to build it a little bit bigger each time and, and hopefully, you know, uh, improve everyone that we get in touch with mm -hmm. and challenge them to improve me. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the that's the overall goal and everything is just like, you know, making sure that, you know, if we get a chance to touch somebody, they're doing better than they did before we touched them as well as, you know, letting them know that we challenge them to push us you know, harder as well. Well, I thank you personally for what you've done for the indie scene, for what you do for your fans. You no you way. give your all. This lovely girl was attracted by her way. Watch your kids for some couples of build more. I said that today. So that's how much on I wrote a more song. I know that song was so come along. You can be in some pain, y'all. Show us the own. Unfortunately. Hey, 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 hey. 